Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Sayers. I am here today to do a quick lesson that will help you with a few of the pages in your packet. The pages are labeled um, high 10. Um, we're also gonna be calling that high zero because that's really the part of it that we're hiding is the zero. So um, in your packet, there's at least two pages that, um, that deal with this concept and hopefully they're not too difficult. But remember that a lot of what we're doing in these first pages that are in the packet, it's all about setting the foundation for understanding place value. And so hopefully, um, hopefully those foundations can be started to be laid. And remember to go back and use the video on the Satan County because that is also counting by place value. So to get through these pages, I'm going to um, share a PowerPoint here and we can take a look. There we go. All right. So what we're going to be doing is just what it says. We're hiding the zero. We have a 10 and we have a four, but when we put them together, the zero is no longer there. But in reality, that zero is just sitting right behind the four. It's still there. It's still standing for the fact that there's a 10 there. When we can count our groups, we can count the say 10 way. We can count the regular way too, but for today, we are going to count the say 10 way. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go on counting the say 10 way 10, one, 10, two, 10, three, 10, four, 10, five, and 10, six. So we've counted all of our items. We now know that it's 10, six. So there's a 10 and there's a six. When we put them together, we don't wanna write the whole 10 anymore because we're gonna hide that zero by putting the six there. So all, all we actually see is the one in the six. That one stands for the 10, it's just that zero is hidden behind the six. So we can use um, from our 10 frames. We have a 10 and then we have three. So we have 10, three, when we put them together, we put the three over top of the zero, and therefore the one and the three are side by side, making the number 13 as we know it. Another example, again, that first set is all filled in, that's a full 10. Then we have nine, so we have 10, nine. So think about what it's gonna look like, we're gonna slide the nine over top of the zero, and it'll look like it's right beside the one. But again, that 10 is really back there. It's just the nine is hiding the zero. Okay, so let's walk through this example. All right, how many are in this first one? It's a full 10 frame, so we know that that's the number 10. How about this one? That's easy, four. Okay, so I have 10, four, but I'm gonna slide 10, four together, I'm gonna put the one and the four side by side, the four covering up the 10. So as we work through this um, on these pages, we will see that we have 10 and the other number, the 10 goes over. So this number, what one six is 16. I have my 10 and I have seven. If I put them over, I now have 17 because I hid the zero behind the seven. 10, four, put it together, 14. A 10 is still there, I can still pull it out. Put the two over the zero, now I have the number 12. So here's 10 and nine, it becomes 19. 10 with one more, 11. 10 with three more is 13. The three went over top of the zero, hiding that zero, so I have 13. Now I have 10, five. I put that five over and hide that zero, and now I have 15. And 10, eight becomes 18. So I hope this helps. 
don't hesitate to call your teacher or to call me um, and check out the videos on um, making sure you're grouping okay in your um, in your counting and also the counting the say 10 way because that's just going to continue to build that foundation for place value. Thanks all.